Hi guys, so finally I'm ready to do a review on the beautiful steamer. Yes. So I purchased this steamer about let's say five six months ago last year and I told you guys I'm going to use this um, steamer for my stretch and let's see how it goes. <sighs> so the steamer first of all is very easy to assemble um, it has instructions but it's more or less very easy. Obviously before I bought it I had seen some reviews and I thought it's time to try something newer and one of my lovely subscribers have been telling me you need to try a steamer out so try it. So I thought okay let me try one of the best according to everyone else out there. So okay I use it to steam my hair every week and I've been using it very faithfully for a couple of months now. Um, so you turn the steamer on and you wait for it to boil and steam and okay one of the problems that I came across with this steamer is that I don't think it, it stays on for too long now before I use a steamer I used a dryer and I used to sit under that dryer for like half an hour to an hour and I really just felt like yeah I, I just want to do a long deep condition but with the steamer the first um, I put it on and it lasts for like about 10-15 minutes and then I'll have to pour some more water into the steamer to kind of trick the steamer to boil up again because I'm not bothered to actually take the cup out pour the water out put the cup back in pour all the water in again maybe I should do that but I really am at that point not bothered to do that so I pour a bit more cold water in so it can boil up again because if you press it on again it won't it won't work because it's too hot and once I do that it only lasts for like 5-10 ten minutes and I think the time that it lasts also depends on the amount of water that you pour in there's a maximum on, on it so you know you, you shouldn't really pour above that but I don't think it steams for that long but then maybe it doesn't need to maybe your hair maybe it actually doesn't need to because of the steam I don't know I like it because like I really feel like it's doing something to my hair I know that steaming is very good for your hair do some research guys um, another thing that I didn't like was that the way that the what's it called that the hood is the circle hood is positioned right it's like the hair at the top of my head gets more of the steam than the back of my head so basically when I take when I come out from under the steamer the back of my head is not as warm as like the top part and sometimes it's not even touched and I feel like I have to keep rotating my head under the steamer for in order for it to reach certain areas and I think that's a bit of an inconvenience I like it because like you can just place it on the table and just sit back and use it it's like a salon in your home and you can pack it away and put it back in its box it's very you know you can store it it's annoying having to take it out again but I'd rather put it away than have it out constantly because it could get broken I actually think it's a very handy thing to have and I would recommend it even though all of all the negatives I mentioned I still use it and I still think um, it's a good thing to have I apparently you know when you use us just a dryer it's just dry air but when you're using a steamer it's actually water that's being used and that obviously can only be beneficial to your hair I've also noticed that my hair is shinier like it's soft and I remember when I was stretching my new growth felt really soft my hair was always soft before that even when I was using a dryer but I noticed a change in softness and manageability and also um, I have like a glossier look to my hair I, was, I noticed that when I was in the light and or when I looked back in my videos my hair looks really glossy and nice so I think the steamer is very beneficial overall I'm glad I bought it, it was about £70 when I, well, I paid in pounds but well, obviously it's in dollars on the website so yeah I overall I like it there's just a few things that are annoying about it but it's a really good um, steamer and also I got the two-in-one with the facial steamer as well so I also I actually steam my face every week and I think that that was also a very creative thing that they've done there they've made it very useful um, yeah you just need to the, the steam blows it in at your face and you just stand at a certain angle this is the box of course and it's got this very beautiful lady on the front 
I did say that I was very happy that they were representing for the dark skin ladies not that the light skin ladies aren't beautiful we are all beautiful but there's not many much representation in the media of us sorry I just had to make a disclaimer just in case people got me twisted <laughs> and it says it restores moisture five times better than conditioners alone hydrates dry hair in less than 20 minutes and it does do that because it's on for less than 20 minutes but this is the part for the facial steamer so you put it on and basically this hole is facing towards you and the steam like blows out in your face so this is the actual you know this is where the it boils up so you have to take you basically you pour the water in from there it boils there and you press the buttons and stuff and then this is like basically it's like at an angle like this so like as the steam is coming out I feel like the basis of it is like mostly on the top half of the hair and this is like you can also like control how much steam you want so if you open it and leave the holes in it basically it lets out more steam and then close it and it puts more steam in your hair obviously I close it because I want the maximum results of course overall I am satisfied with this product I did mention like a couple of negatives but I am satisfied and I do recommend using a steamer as opposed to a hairdryer. Thank you so much for watching.